If you've ever cared for a patient that's gone into acute flash pulmonary edema, you know that it's quite alarming. And so let's talk about it. Pulmonary edema is where there's excess fluid in the lungs. And so because of all this excess fluid, it makes it very difficult for our patients to breathe. This can be an acute thing. This can be a chronic thing. But one of the biggest signs besides that increased work of breathing and that difficulty breathing is this pink frothy sputum. When the alveoli sacs become overwhelmed with fluid, the natural reaction for patients to have is to try and cough up all of this excess fluid that is in their lungs. And a lot of times it looks just like this. There are a few things that can cause flash pulmonary edema. I would say the main ones that I typically see in the ICU is when a patient has gotten too much fluid and suddenly it's just too overwhelming for their lungs and you quickly see a decompensation in their respiratory status as well as that pink frothy sputum. There are other things that can cause it such as hypertensive emergency, pericardial effusion with tamponade, severe arrhythmias, severe heart attacks, abnormal heart valves. As you can see, most of these have to do with the heart not adequately pumping, meaning that fluid is getting backed up and naturally it goes into the lungs. Patients that aren't able to clear fluid out as well from their body, such as your renal patients, your heart failure patients, these are the two types of patients I most commonly see this flash pulmonary edema in. The treatment for it is typically one, monitor their breathing, support their breathing. If the patient needs intubated, you're gonna intubate them, give them extra oxygen if they need. And two is we need to get that excess fluid out of their system. If a patient's kidneys are working, typically we would stop giving them any fluids that we don't need to give them and diurese the patient to make them pee out that extra fluid. If patients do not have great kidneys, then a lot of times they will have to go on dialysis, whether they were already on dialysis or we need to increase the amount of dialysis in order to remove that extra fluid. Hopefully that helps give you guys a little bit more information and so that way you're comfortable the next time you have a patient that goes into flash pulmonary edema because it can be very alarming and it can be very sudden and a lot of times you will be very, very busy with these patients because it is such a dangerous thing to happen and we do not want to uh, let it get any worse. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer some more.